Today's video is going to be a very impromptu yet exciting one. It's my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. Now this is not typically how I film my hauls, but we're gonna do it kind of like very impromptu, very vlog style. I'm Chi Chi. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, hey girl, hey. I cannot remember the last time I filmed a video this impromptu. It was either film it this way or not get this video up for you guys on time because I want you guys to not miss out on these deals. I shopped the sale. I can tell you that this was probably the hardest sale to shop as a curvy girl in a very long time. So if you went and shopped the sale and you're feeling a little bit discouraged, sis, I've got you. When I say we spent hours, we spent hours going through the sale so we could find the best gems for you. Okay, some of these pieces were a little bit of a stretch, okay, because they didn't come in plus, so we're about to find out together. Okay, <laughs> what worked and what did not. Without further ado, oh, okay, this outfit, I'm pretty sure I had this similar, this outfit on in a different video, but this dress is from Shopo. It's super easy, like throw on Moomoo style. These glasses are old free people. My usual arm candy is what I have on. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's get into it. God knows what is going on with this TV today. Only God knows. I may or may not have OD'd on jackets in the sale. I got four different jackets. And while I try on these pieces, I'll tell you like my strategy for shopping the sale and what your best buys are from the sale because not everything that glitters is gold, okay? But I will tell you from, after eight years of shopping the sale, I feel like I have come after eight years of shopping the sale, I feel like I've got shopping the sale down to a science. Animal prints are <laughs> having a moment right now and they're gonna be going strong into fall. So when I saw this black and white, I don't even know the, what is this, zebra, tiger, abstract print jacket, I was like, you don't have to tell me twice. Let's add this to cart. I got this in the largest size possible. This is a Bernardo coat. If you don't know about Bernardo the brand, you're getting quality, you're getting longevity, okay? And you're getting a nice, tailored fit. So I grabbed the jacket in a size, so I grabbed the jacket in a size extra extra large. The cut of the jacket is very reminiscent of a trench coat. It has the lapel details with the button, also has a split up the back, and it's comfortable enough in the arms, if you have thicker arms like me, where I, I know I can wear a chunky sweater with it but honestly it's the print for me it's a statement for me now like i told you i bought four jackets in this haul i'm only allowed to keep two because my jacket wardrobe is becoming ridiculous at this point if you are like me and you have covered all of your bases when it comes to neutrals then this is a fun jacket for you because it is technically monochrome so it's still neutral so you're going to be able to pair it with all of your you know, your blacks, your navies, your creams, your greens. But you can also have fun with it with a pop of color underneath, like a bold pink, even like a neon green, etc., etc. That's what I like about this coat. It's also lined as well. I've got boots to match. Ah, I'm excited, okay. Cause I think this is gonna be such a vibe. Y'all, I'm recording for IG stories as well, okay? I hate to say it, but sometimes they get the tea first. Um, especially my broadcast channel, okay, and my LTK girlies. What are we thinking with the white boots? I'm gonna put them on right now. I already know which bag I'm gonna go with. My little hobo. By the way, these little things for your boots, game changer, game changer. Well, actually, I'll link them for you guys in the description box. They help your boots stand up and hold their shape. So here is the full outfit. This was in the bag I was gonna wear with this, but I don't know where. I was gonna wear my big black circle one, the one from I showed you guys from Nordstrom Rack, but this will have to do. All right, you get the gist. I was going to also do like a black boater hat, but y'all, it is hot. So let's just imagine what the look would look like. All right, super cute, nice deep pockets as a single button and then it also has a split in the back it's currently tacked down and this is her also fully lined on the inside as well tell me when you come in the room with this jacket you ain't making a statement tell me the next jacket i picked up is one from i believe the brand 
I feel like I'm gonna butcher the name of this brand. I think it's called Avec Les Felice. Don't quote me on it. Um, I've been wanting an aviator jacket forever and ever. I know like H&M makes some. I've seen some around the way like Zara. I know like Zara makes some. Obviously, you know, the sizing there is limited. I think I've seen like ASOS possibly, H&M also, but that always sells out super quick. So when I saw this in the sale specifically, and then I saw it so that it was a brown version because what I typically see is the black and white version. I was like, mm-hmm, add to cart, right? I don't know, for whatever reason, like the black Black and white version always caused me to pause because I felt like it would be a jacket that would be somewhat harder to style. But being that this is more of a monochrome style and we know that chocolate is having a moment right now, I was like, yeah, mm -hmm, we gonna get that. Obviously, I took a chance with this because I knew the style is naturally oversized. So it has the all of the accoutrements, the detailing, the straps around the collar. It has the shirling around the wrist and the neck, and then it zips up and has pockets on the side. It's gonna be the perfect thing to pull out on a cold, crisp winter day. And I'm super excited because you know what? I am definitely over this 95 degree weather. Y'all, this is thick, thick, okay? If you are trying to stay warm, get you one of these. I love the little crisscross collar detail. I'm 5'7 and you get ample length with this. It's oversized. This shirling like is so soft. It has pockets on either side, deep, deep pockets. And you can see that the shirling material is on the inside of the jacket as well. So that means you'll get some additional warmth with that. It has a zipper. So if you wanna be warm, okay, you are going to be warm in this, a funnel collar, so it goes all the way to the top. This is that I'm waiting for the bus um, type jacket, okay? If you wanna be waiting, if you, if you gotta wait for the bus and you wanna be stylish and chic and warm, mm-hmm, yeah, she the one. <laughs> and this is an extra, extra large. And like I said, very much an oversized cut. I also grabbed this coat. Now this was my wild card, right? Because I cannot decide if I love this green or if it's giving puke, okay? Y'all let me know in the comments. It's like almost like a dirty neon green color. And I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take a chance with this. Also, I got this in a size extra large because I believe this was the largest size. And now I'm trying to remember the name of this style of coat it's the same style as the Bernardo coat but it also has like double breasted let me double check this is another Avec Felice production. It's double breasted, so it's giving you that tailored look. You know, if you're one of my my corporate girlies, okay, this would be a great option to add to your wardrobe that is, isn't black, okay, when you wanna add like a pop of color. I always say it for the fall and winter to definitely invest in your outerwear because that's what people see first. You can have pajamas on, sweatpants, whatever, kinda mess underneath your coat, but if you show up, okay, in the right coat, you walk into the room, people are gonna take notice and people are gonna pay attention, all right? And so I was like, you know what? You know, let's see what we could do with this one. Now the next two um, jackets I picked up are more of like great for this transitional weather. I grabbed this Madewell shirt jacket. It looks super oversized online when I saw it on the model. <laughs> and let's just say it wasn't super oversized on me. And I've been looking for that perfect denim shirt slash jacket hybrid, something that you can wear now, like on chillier evenings, something you can wear on cooler evenings, even though I don't feel like I even know what a cooler evening is like anymore in the summer, thanks to global warming. <laughs> um, but I love the fact that it had the pocket details in front. It is a nice, very much mid-weight. It's not quite as heavy as a jacket, but it's definitely not light at all. So I'm curious to see how this fits because when I pulled it out the bag, I pulled it out the bag, I was hoping it was gonna fit more like this jacket, this quilted jacket that I got from Walmart, but it doesn't look quite the same. Rather than having like the metal buttons, this has more of like a seashell, not seashell, a turtle shell style button. I love all the little details. It's giving, is it, is it, is it a jacket or is it a coat? Something like this is perfect, okay? If for traveling, especially during the summer, where you know you have to have some kind of jacket, but obviously like it's too hot outside for something super heavy. Not quite like a shirt but not quite a jacket. I don't know if you guys can see like the thickness of it. So it's, it's, it's I'm pretty sure they're denim jackets that are this weight. It has turtle shell 
buttons so that gives it more of like a shirt vibe than a jacket vibe very great quality denim that stiff and beautifully rigid that kind of denim like quality you know so I, I wanted it to fit really oversized and it fits more true to size than anything else I believe this is an extra extra large bonus that it actually covers my butt okay love that and also there's some room in the sleeve as well so it's not tight or anything but I was just hoping for something a lot more oversized like my Walmart quilted jacket but let me know what you think think pockets here are there pockets no i was like are there pockets on the side no pockets on the side like i'm really impressed that it's actually long enough to cover my butt because i cannot tell you how many shirts i get that aren't long enough to cover my butt i want your honest opinions though on this like is this something would you keep this return this since it doesn't fit as oversized as i wanted let me know and then I also grabbed another jacket, very reminiscent. This one's a little bit cropped. I've been on the hunt for this. I guess I could say that I've been on the hunt for like more utility style jackets, especially as we start transitioning into fall. Only God knows when that will be. Um, but this came like green, this color, and it came in, I think it came in one more other color. Maybe it was a black. So it's one of those pieces that you don't know you need until you're putting together an outfit and you're like, oh, this outfit needs something. That's this, again, just I would say this is slightly lighter in weight than the denim um, shirt jacket situation um, so it's perfect it has like the oversized pockets and I love the little drawstring detail it's like one of those jackets you can throw on if you're if you work out if you wake up super early to work out in the mornings where you know you can feel a little bit of a chill especially when you come out of the gym after sweating this is something you could throw on and go exactly what I was hoping for okay it is the perfect cropped length yes it has these drawstrings on the inside if you want to make it maybe turn it more of like a bubble style i don't know if i would actually let me see and it'll give you more of like a bomber style shape the funnel collar i love that little detail as well if you like to pop your collar you can so this i'm wearing here in a extra extra large this is from the straight size but it also comes in the plus size and i like that you can zip it up or you can just button it if you prefer oh and we have pockets we have pockets. Now when it comes to the tea on what to shop for in the Nordstrom anniversary sale, here are my top categories. Outerwear, obviously, because I, I told you I bought quite a few jackets in the sale. The second is going to be work footwear. So pumps, flats, boots, anything that you know you're gonna be wearing a lot of and you need it to stand the test of time. I would stay away from anything trendy and really invest in classics, like a classic red ballet flat. This one was actually sent to me by Sam Edelman. Thank you so much, guys. When I was in the classroom, I never missed the anniversary sale. I have pieces from the anniversary sale that I wore several years. My first like leather work bag was from Nordstrom. I got it during the sale from Madewell and I still have that bag till date with all my my papers that I need to grade my heavy laptop everything it's still standing the test of time so if you're looking to like revamp or add pieces to your workwear wardrobe I highly recommend for all of their blouses t-shirts slacks flats etc etc another area that I think is completely worth investing in is going to be the beauty exclusives right, if you're like me you like bougie beauty stuff but you don't want to spend on it thanks to PR okay this is the sale for example my advanced night repair I don't play with her mm-hmm I don't play with her. And I was able to get the jumbo size bottle for a crazy deal <laughs> during the sale. And because I got it during the sale, they also sent me a whole bunch of gifts, okay? Another thing I love to grab is Kiehl's. Their cream de corp has a cult following. If you are an ashy girl, and I've talked about this product ad nauseum, okay? <laughs> Especially if you follow me on IG. Speaking of which, why are you not following me there? I stay dropping gems on IG. Come on over it let's be friends but I stand this cream de corp there's a lot of people making butters there's a lot of people making body care but like kills has been around since 18 some okay only God knows how long this formula has been around and they have refined it and refined it and refined it you can get it in a butter you can get it in a lotion and I'm telling you right now the sale during the Nordstrom anniversary sale totally worth it 
totally worth it. You can grab the refills, which I think is a great deal, by the way, during the sale as well. So I'm gonna link a bunch of my beauty favorites down below. My Osea body oil that I don't play with, but is she is an expensive girl. Okay, funny enough, I got her first last year during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I did not buy one but two bottles to re-up. All right, this is the one I currently have right now. I bought two bottles of this because I don't play with her, but she is not cheap. She is not, I'll be the first person to tell you, okay? So those are just some of my favorites from the beauty exclusive. If you're a makeup girl, I'll also include some of my favorites during the sale. It really doesn't get better. As I said earlier, the anniversary sale is really that girl for buying items, pieces, wardrobe, staples that will last you the test of time. This is what I mean by basics that last that I really don't even feel the need to shop as much because I already have them. This is a halogen t-shirt. If this is not a year old, it's probably like two years old. I hope you guys can see how the quality, the color, the elasticity, it still looks pretty much like as good as I bought it. Now I wear this lightly because it's white and I'm prone to stains. Um, but even still, like if you want to buy eleven, twelve dollar one at any of our usual like you know stores, by the time once you wash it once, you will start to see that like fuzziness, that pilling. Not a, not, a, not a single fuzz, okay, on this. And this is what I mean by quality basics. And you know, once you buy once, as long as you launder it properly and you know, you're good with it, even if it gets stained, the quality of these fabrics are designed that They'll, the stain will come out, okay? The stain will come out. And this is a perfect example. I have it in white, I have it in black. I believe I also, I may have it in cream. And if I don't, I'm gonna order it in cream because it's like the perfect opacity, you know, the perfect weight for layering. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Cause this is even about the shirt, but I just wanted y'all to see. I've shopped the sale so much that I really don't need to add it. Like, I feel like I'm good in the staples department, right? I really don't need that much. Cause the stuff I got, I already got, and it still works and it's still good, but they're still in great shape. So I was looking through the sale. I was just like, hmm, <laughs> I got this, I got that. Like for example, the Moonlight pajamas. Every year I buy a pair. I might actually buy another pair this year as well. You know, like I have all these things. So instead I took off that hat and I started just looking through the sale to see like what I would actually buy if from your perspective in lens. So the first thing I picked up from my teachers, from my girls who work in business casual environments, I grabbed this denim dress. It comes in plus. Y'all, I don't want to talk about how I feel like there was a moment in time the Nordstrom anniversary sale really came through for the curvy girls. Like almost every line had extended sizing. This year as well. This year I... I was very, I have to say, I was sadly disappointed when it came to like the extended sizing and the finding the cute stuff. Yeah, but one of the things I did find that I think would be a great closet staple is going to be this denim dress. Um, it comes in plus, has pockets in the front, a belt to help you cinch in your waist. It's more of like a midi style, so I can see you wearing that, especially if like you're a teacher, wearing that at the beginning of the school year. And as things start to get cooler, you could throw on a chunky cardigan with it you know, maybe some cowboy boots or just some like regular boots, really. If it gets really cold where you're at, you can layer like long johns inside of this and wear it that way. If you're a versatile girl, open up the buttons. You can even turn it into like a duster style. So I felt like this was a very versatile item and definitely worth checking in price. Also, the denim is so soft. Like it's just the perfect amount of weathered and soft on the body, comfortable. So I just put this on okay thick arms uh beware okay this is an extra extra large and my arms ain't going nowhere it is tight tight all right um but this just actually does come in plus i just thought i could get away with the extra extra large pockets again okay we love that very teacher friendly like pockets in front you know you can put your different colored pens got your walkie talkie Got your little badge situation. And it's funny because the dress itself, like the main part of the dress is very roomy. So if you're more of like a pear shape, you could possibly fit this a lot better. I would say if you're like a 14, maybe a, a small 16 up top, the extra extra large will work for you. Y'all know I'm a little bit on the busty side. So it is a little bit of pulling 
right here. I wish I could have taken some of the fabric up here and put in the dress and it would have made the dress. Just some of the details, it has clear buttons right there, flat pockets. The next item I picked up that was another wild card was this suede button down skirt. I love skirts like this because they scream chic luxe. You can pair them with a turtleneck and some boots. You can pair them with some pumps for the office. You can throw on like a leather jacket over it. Crop jacket, you could do a trench. It's just like one of those pieces that always just looks so luxe and so very much I'm like I'm a woman about my business. But you could also wear like a lace cami with it. You could wear like a corset with it it's one of those pieces i think it, they can easily go from day to night as well and it's a very soft sort of like suede velvet material i love the pocket details because that also helps to camouflage the fupa area now i haven't tried this on and this did not come in plus so we're about to see how it fits i had such high hopes for this skirt okay um but it doesn't even go up past my hips all right, I'm trying not to get demonetized here on YouTube, but you can clearly see how far it's gone up. It will not go past this part. So I would say you have to be a solid 12, 14 to fit this skirt. And I'm not really sure why the Nordstrom team did not think this skirt was worthy enough to be made. And plus, they have a nice customer base of women in the workforce who wear extended sizes who this skirt would have been a great fit for. I don't know if this is going to come across to anybody who is a buyer at Nordstrom, but this is a piece that would definitely have sold for extended sized women. Okay, if y'all need consultants, people to give you, point you in the right direction in the plus category, I'm here. I volunteer as tribute. And while we're that, I got this gorgeous blouse to go with it as well. Again, this is one of those pieces that you can pull out of your closet as we transition into fall, year after year, it's a timeless fall sort of like floral style. I feel like the colors, the blues, the greens, all of that is very versatile. You can pair it with jeans if you like. You can pair it with, you know, your khakis as we go into fall. If you're looking for that cute top and jean outfit for like a date night or to, to meet up with the girls for happy hour, etc., etc., it's one of those type of tops. And so I had to add that in the cart as well. See what I said about just an easy flowy blouse you can throw on with some jeans these jeans are a little big for me but I would like this I like this very much more with a lighter wash although I do have a darker wash pair from good American let's see what looks better so I changed into the darker pair of jeans just because the other one was just like too big in the waist and I really wanted to get the vibe super easy date night cute hang out with the girls kind of top easy blouse you could also pair this with a pencil skirt slacks and whatnot for work maybe if i really want to lean into the whole look i might do a fedora and matching bag i think that's what i'm thinking where that's how I would go. Now continue on with the florals. I also saw this gorgeous, gorgeous fall floral dress. You know, if you do fall photos, you take the kids to the pumpkin patch, you guys do like those type of seasonal fall photos, or maybe, maybe you have a baby bump announcement or something like that. I would totally style this with a fedora and some boots. I think that would be super cute. For this, I, if you're trying to keep things current and contemporary, I would stay away from the ankle boots because it's very, very easy to See you dressed like this on Pinterest with a girl and some ankle boots. Stay what? <laughs> so I personally would not opt for an ankle boot. I would definitely do a knee high boot with this. Maybe like a kitten heel style. Because the style is a little bit classic in nature, it's really important that you pair this with the right things to kind of bring it to now. It's like a lightweight chiffon material with a little slip underneath. And I'm pretty sure I have a very similar dress like this in brown. It's one of those dresses that you can wear to work. You can throw it on and wear to church. If you have like, what do, what do people do in the fall? I was going to say if you have a baby shower, but that's more like a spring thing. Well, if you have a fall baby shower, it's one of those type of dresses that's super versatile for situations like that. What are we thinking here? Okay, I am 
just loving the movement with this one the sacheting the blue the teal with the boots super cute like i said if you're like you know let's say like a 12 14 in size and you're looking for like a bump dress for like maternity photos this would be super cute this also be super cute for like a fall wedding engagement type photos or if you do like seasonal photos with the family thanksgiving photos right before christmas this would also be a great dress for that smocking around the sleeves pockets like i said stretchy around the waist it's a lightweight chiffon it has like a lining inside as well i mean she's a vibe okay i feel like i can do a two-step on her all right <laughs> very church friendly work friendly if you want to do like a maxi dress dress as well now i can't remember what size i got it in but i will definitely include the stats if not on screen it will be included in the description box below speaking of description boxes everything that i've mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box down below and i want to hear from you okay did you shop the nordstrom anniversary sale this year what are your thoughts on it were you able to find any gems i want to hear from you while i'm sharing with you what i got also this is a great time to hit that like button if you haven't already if you enjoyed try on videos where the clothes are being styled and sis for more videos like this all you have to do is subscribe now and make sure to turn on those notifications oh, oh oh my god i could not end this without talking about undergarments you guys know i've made videos about undergarments i've made videos about shapewear bras underwear all that stuff because i think it's integral to any outfit that you put together okay i'm using big fancy words okay but i think it's just it's just an essential right and for my busty girls i know the struggle of being able to find a good quality bra that does not break the bank and if you haven't heard of a low me a low me is one of those uh, brands that go up to like oh my god I, I don't even know Alomi is one of those bra brands that make extended size brands for busty girls so you're gonna see a G a H a I a K cup they got that okay and I mean if you busty you already know you already know good bras do not go on sale okay it would be a needle in a haystack okay if you're lucky enough to find a bra that you like um that fits well and is on sale I love this what's the name of this bra style let me see so I I grabbed the Charlie bra in the color storm this is kind of like a navy colored bra I also have the same bra that I grabbed last year because I love wearing these bras when I wear outfits where I really don't want my boobs to project now I don't have the biggest boobs I wear somewhere between a 38 and a 40 EF depending however my boobs are big enough that when I can't just go to like most regular stores and pick up a bra and I love these bras for like when I'm wearing t-shirts or like just pieces that I don't want my boobs to be up and in the face right it does a great job at like distributing the boob but still you know you're not you don't have a uniboob okay it still gives you some shape um and then it has these fun little lace details so you don't feel like you're wearing you don't feel like you're wearing a grandma bra okay it has a little funk to it and i will link this of course for you in the description box down below but i would love to hear your thoughts right i'm hearing a lot of discourse in the just the community about you know sizing sizing availability about a lot of brands walking back all of their like you know commitments to inclusion and larger and extended sizing and i definitely i'm starting to see it i'm a little bit worried i guess you know somebody said that because everybody is now taking glp ones you know brands are thinking that they will no longer be any more fat people so they don't need to make clothes for us and i don't have a problem with the word fat i know some people do but anyways i'd love to know your thoughts this is my nordstrom anniversary sale haul let me know which one of the pieces was your favorite and which two jackets you think I should keep. Until next time, stay blessed, stay fabulous, and remember, your curves are your crown.